please welcome to the stage Pankaj Sehgal of the Tata Consultancy Services. Hi folks. So my name is Pankaj and I'm going to talk about BGP in Kubernetes. So first jumping into the BGP part of the Kubernetes. We have been deploying containers in production and I'm sure like we are running thousands of containers. So the orchestration part is almost taken care by Kubernetes. But there is still a gray area, which there's still a gray area for the networking, which is still, we don't have any standardized things for the networking. There are protocols. There is everything that people have been deploying. So first of all, why BGP? And I'll take a step back. I'll, first of all, I'll tell, come on. Yeah, yeah. why not other protocols? So let's start here. This is my ideal network. You have a router, you have a number of endpoints, and say if I want to send an IP packet from endpoint one to endpoint two, it will go through a router. So what basically router doing here is, it's policing my IP networks. So it's policing my IP packets, and that's it. So if the network is having X number of endpoints, and you have a, just one router, you're fine. Now, when I have two autonomous systems, if I want to send IP packet from autonomous system from one to autonomous system from two, it will go via the routers. What now happening is my, rou my routers are having more information. And as my endpoints are increasing, the information in the router is also increasing. And I jammed it. So think of it like this. If you have just a couple of endpoints in your network, your router will be having that small information. But if the number of endpoints in the network are increasing rapidly, you are scaling out as per in the production, your routers will be having more data, the more time to process your IP packet. I know it's a microsecond or a millisecond, but when it counts to the traffic, when you say the amount of traffic, it actually counts. So BGP solves that problem. So what BGP does is, BGP has nothing. It has an IP table. It has entries for the direct hopes. And it has, if the hope is more than, if there is one more hope, then it has the hope for a next BGP pair. And that's it. That's what BGP does. So if you want to send your IP packet, that's it. So this is my, an ideal Kubernetes deployment. You have a Kubernetes master, you have a couple of nodes in which the IP tables are there. I'm using a Linux kernel to do my routing. Let's say one of my system is crashed. Now what will happen is the routing tables will get updated. When I say updation, I'm actually deleting the entry of the system that actually crashed. So if I have 10 endpoints, I'm actually doing 10 deletion operations. But notice one thing over here how I am deleting those. The peers are talking to each other. Peers are talking to each other and one peer is telling, so one endpoint is telling another endpoint. Okay, this is down, delete the entry from the IP table. This is down, delete the IP from the entry table. And this is fine, again, if your endpoints are 10, 20, 50, but we are talking about thousands of nodes here, which are running highly tightly coupled containers over them. And something like this will happen to the routing tables. You don't want to do that. So a uh, very simple and stupid solution for this could be when any of my system crashes, why not feed that info to a route feeder? Kubernetes master will take care of it. OK, this, this particular node is down. It will update the route feeder. My route feeder will update the entries in the nodes. So what I'm doing here is, Route feeder, after X minute of time, it will update the routing tables or it will update the IP tables in all of the nodes. So you don't have any overhead of updating the IP tables in the Linux kernel. And moreover, you can also deploy your security schemes or any other third party that you want to do. So I'm trying to make my networking and my routing equal. That's all. The only part that in the networking will be routing. And that's it. That's all it will do and it will update the routing tables, that's all. So I encourage you to come and talk to me regarding this. This is just a concept which is being deployed, 
and I'm way too much on Slack. You can let's talk about it in another two days, and hopefully it will be a good one. Thank you.